When I was praying for the man who was on a wheelchair, you were close there. Yes, I was standing there. Come, come, come. Your hand lifted, and if you are watching us, I want you to also lift your hand. So, what's your name? Dutch, Dutch O'Broy. What? Dutch, D A K S H. All right, Dutch, Dutch. I, I just remembered you, and when I spoke to my brother right now, I saw you. Now, this is what I'm seeing. Oh, God. I see Delhi, but I see you with horses. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Yes, yes, yes. I'm into horses. It is like uh, you, you, you've been involved in uh, uh, horse race, racing. How do you know? Glory oh, to Jesus. Prophetic general. Yes, yes. Is that true? That's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. Absolutely true. That's my passion turned profession. That is your passion and profession. So you, 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 you do horse racing. Yes, Pastor. I see there used to be a lot of horses before. Did your father do the same thing? Yes, I'm following his legacy. <laughs> you are following the legacy of your father. Yes, Jesus. Now, tell, let me tell you something. The reason why you say that uh, you are following the legacy of your father is because your father died. He's no longer here. Is that correct? Yes. And uh, you have taken over. Because I see your father having difficulties with his liver and died in 2011. Oh, yes, you are amazing. Yes. Is yes. that correct? That's true. Liver cirrhosis. Okay, you have not only taken charge to carry on his legacy, but it is your passion. Horse racing is something that, oh, <laughs> look at this. Hallelujah. Look at. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how did you come to know us? Tell me. Uh, what brought you here? Luckily, I was in Bangalore. My horse was running. And there I saw your holdings all over Bangalore. You, you... <laughs> Wait. Wait. You say your horse was running, meaning that uh, there was a race. There was an event in Bangalore. There's a 2,000 guineas happening that time. Very classic race. So my horse was supposed to participate there. And when you got to Bangalore, you saw... Your holdings from airport to everywhere, everywhere in Bangalore. Hallelujah! Pray for India! Oh, yes! Look, you saw my, my dear son handled that alone. There, there was no place, no highway yes. where there were, there were no banners, billboards. So you went for racing. Yes. Your, your horse was racing in Bangalore. Yes. You went there not knowing that we took over Bangalore. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me what, what happened. Then, then you saw that. So, so that fine day I saw your holdings and there was something which was making me inclined towards this. Pray for it. It's something you know, special to everyone. So I made my mind that I have to be there. So when I reached there, I'm not pastor, I'm, I'm not related to any, anything over there. Surprisingly, nobody stopped me. I entered without a pass, without anything, without a ribbon, anything. I entered and I was sitting right in the front row. Nobody stopped me. Oh, wow. In the pastoral meeting that took place? Yes, right. Where Rohan was sitting on my right and I was sitting on the left in the front row, which is, I think, because of security, impossible. Rohan is... Day. I saw the gentleman, yes, and his better half as well. And the better half. Do you know each other? Oh, I saw him there, but yes. Okay, come, 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 come. You saw them in India? Yes, in fact. So you decided, I gotta go there. I will not miss this program. Oh, yes, it was very, so, I was inclined, very strongly inclined. You see what 
God has done. So tell me, He knows you now. Yes, Papa. So you say you, you came to that pastor's meeting and you sat in front. Nobody stopped you. Nobody. They didn't ask you whether you're a pastor or not. You just a chat, chat, up. You sit. Walked on. Nobody stopped. Despite so many security people in line, there was a kilometer-long line outside. People were waiting to go inside. Despite having all the bans, surprisingly, nobody stopped. Not even the security. Not even the security. And you chose to go to sit in front. Right in front, where gentlemen were sitting on my right hand side. Hey, hey, favor. I say favor. Favor. But you do not know each other. You do not know each other. No problem. All right. Now, may I please ask? You do not know each other. Have you ever spoken to me before? Well, definitely, yes, through my spiritual divine powers and yours power, rather. <laughs> <laughs> There's something which makes two people connect. There is something you feel is direct. Definitely. Okay, yes. that is spiritual, right? Definitely. And physical. Have you ever spoken to me physically before? Nope, never. This is the first time I'm here and surprisingly I'm here because of horses again. Oh, you are here because of horses again? Yes. Tell me about that. There is a... On Thursday there was a race in Johannesburg and my very dear friend's horse was running there. <laughs> Cannot be bigger coincidence than this. That means I was meant to be here to meet you face to face. It was predestined. It was, it was meant to happen. Um, now let me speak to you. I am glad that you have come. Likewise. I am glad that the Lord had led you to Bangalore for that race. And seeing the billboards with my pictures, you decided to go to that meeting. Yes. It is a sign that uh, while others were in queues, pastors, it was for pastors. Yes. You passed. Not sitting anywhere, you went to sit in front. <laughs> please don't hide this, please don't fire the security. <laughs> were you blessed today when you were there? Definitely, yes, my horse won, won the next day. <laughs> and he was a longer odds horse. Nobody expected him to win. It was a longer odd horse. <laughs> I'm sure because of your blessing, many made money as well. <laughs> God, God is a good Jesus. God. It's your blessing, of course. I am praying now that a greater impartation of grace may come on you. Mm. Amen. You were born differently. I can tell you about you. I can tell you things that will help you. No, I won't say. I'll say some. When you were born of your father and your mother, mm -hmm. the desire of your father was, I want a boy. Yes. I have girls. Oh. I have Jasmine. Oh, yeah. I have Kumsi. Now I need a boy. You know what I'm talking about? How? <laughs> was somebody stalking me in Bangalore? How? How? Unbelievable. You know their names. This is unbelievable. They are married. Each has two children. They are teachers, both of them. Yes. Kumsi is right now in Delhi. Yes. But uh, Jasmine is, is, is in Agra. Yes. Yes. Jesus is Lord. Do, do, do you know Agra? Do you know Agra? Agra. Agra, Delhi. You know Agra? Yes. Anybody who knows Agra? Yes. Now I know Agra. It's the first time I'm hearing Agra. I hear it in spirit. Agra. When you were born, the Lord had placed something special on you. Today is Sunday. Yes. You were born on a Sunday. Yes. On the 27th yes. of November, 1983. Glory yes. to Jesus. Whoa. 
It was a Sunday. God had all the time. This is what God is saying. He's giving you now spiritual ability that will cause you to go higher in what is set in you. The horse racing business is something that you'll begin to see blossoming everywhere you look. Amen. God Jesus. will do it because God is a faithful God. Everybody lift your hand and receive what God has in store. I pray for you. You're a big man. Please don't stop with God. I, I want to see you again and again. I would definitely be there. And I was very sure that you, I will catch your eyes. You will, your eyes will see me. I was so sure. And I was so sure that I got something which suits the stallion. The stallion is the one who rules everybody. So it would be my honor if you accept the stallion. Oh. 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 Look what the Lord has done. a gift of a stallion. Hallelujah. Now in Hallelujah Ministries, every time you receive a gift, you have to declare. I'm declaring it. <laughs> in AMI, every pastor, when you receive a gift, you must declare it. <laughs> Look what the Lord has oh, done. Yes. <laughs> Look what the Lord has It's beautiful. Very. I'm grateful. Very. Can I have the plastic? The, you. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. I will take care of it. I'd love to see you wearing this someday. You will want to see me wearing it. Perhaps this will make sure that everything goes fine when you come to India. Everything. Hey! spoken to you I have not spoken in my own name the Lord our God will fulfill that he will expand you is putting you the head in your industry hear this my name is Af Lukau as I have said it so it shall be I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you.
If you were blessed by this video, please share and spread the message on social media using the share links in this video. Be sure to like and share our videos with your friends and family. Tune in to catch his next sermon on the public channel on AMI-TV or on our live stream on AMITV.com. Keep up with all his latest updates by following him on social media platforms at Elflukawa.